हेलो 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 माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग टीचर हाउ आर यू डूइंग ग्रेट वेलकम वेलकम टू अनदर डे अनदर क्लास अनदर अपॉर्चुनिटी टू लर्न इट इज अ प्लेजर टू हैव ऑल ऑफ यू हियर हेलो डेनिस हेलो नोएमी हेलो सारा हेलो ब्रायन हेलो मिगेल एंजेल हेलो रहीना Welcome. Hello. Hello. Okay. How was your day, people? Uh-huh. Only working teacher. <laughs> Only working. Working and working and working. <laughs> yeah, there, there is no other option to do. But work. Yes. Yes. Well, but the good thing is that we have a job to go, we have a place to go to work and everything. So that's like the advantage, right? That we have our job, right? Because there are many people right now looking for one. And thank God we have it. So we are going to work today. Today is a date for us to check that everything is done and everything is ready, right? So we are going to go on the first uh, moments of the class just to check on the final topic of the unit, right? And we are going to be working on uh, the final exams on the platform just to check for everything. And uh, we are going to uh, check that everything is done with uh, or advance. Because I know that many of you have already finished, right? Many of you have already done everything that you need to do with the platform. You finish up to section number five. Yes or no? Uh-huh. Yes. Yes, I think you have finished everything, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, that's perfect. Miguel, have you finished with everything? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Elba? Thank you. Have you finished with everything in the platform? Yes. It is? Okay, Mr. Dennis? Yes, I have. Okay, pretty good. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to, uh, to check for advancement. We are going to send also uh, the picture that you have already finished. This is a practice that I do because uh, even when uh, uh, someone from Inglés Corporativo is constantly checking on your progress, I really like to also check on your progress. I like to check that you have finished with everything on the platform. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. We are going to be checking on, uh, on that, that we have finished with every single exercise. And if you, have, and if you are missing any of it, then we are going to check it out today for you to have everything on 100% and you don't have any, any problem with the things to come on the platform, okay? So that is basically what we're going to be doing today. And tomorrow you are going to have this time for you to finish uh, the module with a very, very short presentation. We are going to have one minute presentations tomorrow and you are going to be presenting a little bit about a uh, your advancements on the module, what you like the most, what you didn't like, something that you need to improve, right? I'm going to give you the guidelines in a moment. You don't need to make any presentation or anything. It is just a short, uh, a short uh, participation that you are going to have, okay? So that is going to be for tomorrow. Tomorrow, each of you is going to have one minute to talk about the module, what you learn, what you improved, and what you want to learn for the next one. What are your expectations for the next one? What do you need to continue working for the next module? Okay, so those are the things. I am going to send you the, the, the things that you need to talk about. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> Go on. 
it is just a very short presentation. You know, um, in the plan of these classes of English Corporativo, you don't have oral evaluations. I mean, per se, oral evaluations, like, yeah, this is an oral evaluation and you are being evaluated. But I, as teacher Nati, I like to evaluate your oral performance in the last class because it is a moment on which I can check and I can say, done, you are ready to go with the next teacher. Because if not, later on, they're going to say like, mira, este niño viene diciendo children's. ¿Quién fue la teacher anterior? <gasps> and then I'll be like, oh my God, it's mine, right? No, 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 I cannot permit that. You have to go. I mean, I am not going to fix every single mistake that, uh, that we have right now, but at least to make sure that you can speak in public, that you can speak in front of others, that you have uh, the capacity to send an audio, the capacity to speak uh, for more than 10 seconds, far from yes or no, right? Yes, sir, no, sir, right? <laughs> I can do it. No, I can't, right? You can actually have the chance to actually express your ideas in an original way, not memorized, not from a paper, not from anything, just to express your ideas. What is a good thing to do for a presentation? Tips for a presentation. Don't memorize it, okay? Because you are not going to come tomorrow and say, hi, good evening. My name is Nati. I am going to talk about my performance in the module. Um, first, I want to talk about the vocabulary. I like the vocabulary. No, right, because it's, it's going to show that you are memorizing everything. It is good to write some ideas on paper for you to guide. And you say like, well, teacher, something that I like about this module is that I had the opportunity to participate, to speak, to practice a lot. I like the group, I like my classmates, I like the content, I like the activities. So you can express what you like, what you didn't like, and also what you want to improve for the next module. So don't feel nervous because in the end, it's just for us. It's just for us here, right? I am not going to be sharing with many other teachers. Mira, mis niños, como like, I can do it, but I <laughs> they can watch the video and they can check it on themselves. But uh, that is going to be tomorrow. We're going to have only one minute uh, per person. So take advantage of that and respect the timing, right? Because later on, some people start talking and talking. And when I was a child, I wanted to learn English. And I remember that. And then 20 minutes are done. And the other one said, teacher, yo iba a presentar. Y ya no pude. So respect the timing. It's just one minute, exactly like the audios. We have been practicing for that. So you see, like Rocky, that he has been practicing running and everything for the big moment. Well, going back to the topic, we are going to work today a little bit. Let me have my attendance ready for the moment of calling the attendance. And here we go. Okay, perfect. Well, as I said before, we are going to work a little bit on the topic and then on the platform, okay? Just to check out that you have everything ready. You are very silent today. I don't know why. So tell me one thing, one thing that you like about your day. One thing that you like about your day. For example, today I had chicken campero for dinner. It was beautiful. Something that you like about your day. Uh, In my case. In my case, teacher, I'm sorry. In my case, I'm sorry, Dennis. Um, in my case, I um, eat for my lunch um, on um, chori. I love <laughs> you have a chori for lunch. I have a, I huh? have a good day. Okay. <laughs> Even when they are more expensive now. They are 1.25, right? The choris now. Oh, so sad. <laughs> but they are very good. So, Denise, tell me what was the good thing about your day? Um, I went with my mother uh, to for having uh, Chinese food and at um, a mall in San Salvador. Oh, 
and okay. that's, that's why I like my my day. Okay, so I went to have Chinese food with my mother, right? I went to have Chinese food with my mother. And then you can say, or you can say, I went to San Salvador to have Chinese food with my mother, right? That's the structure. Thank you, Dennis. Let's see, who else? Mr. Boris, what was good about your day? And then Jenny. Well, uh, uh, this day, uh, the better that happened to me was that I can uh, arrive home early, um, uh, stay with my family. Oh, nice. Okay. So you had the chance to go home early and stay with the family. Very good job. Jenny, tell me. Today I went to I went at the school for my little nephew. Ah, <laughs> so you say today I pick up my little nephew at school. Yes. Pick up I is ir a traerlo, right? Today I picked up my little nephew at school. Very good. Let's see who's next. Me, teacher. Daisy, tell me. Okay, this day was exciting. Uh -huh. I drove a lot from very early oh, and really? I was not in traffic. <laughs> That's yes, so nice. I like it. That's very beautiful when you are early, when you are early and there's no traffic and you enjoy because it's nice and free. <laughs> very good job. Thank you, Daisy. Very beautiful. Let's see. Uh, Jessica, what was good about your day? Good night, teacher. Uh, today I work in my house. You work at home. You did at home, home office. At home office, yes. Okay, so and in that case. I, uh -huh. um, my dinner is chicken. <laughs> it is or was? Was chicken. <laughs> was. It's over, right? My dinner was chicken. Good, chicken. very good. <laughs> Excellent. Let's see. Erivin, what was good about your day? Well, teacher, today I saw I could saw, I could see some of my friends and we went to eat pupusas. And well, when the class was uh, going to begin, uh -huh. uh, I told them uh, I have to go. But it's not it, it, it's not normal that we uh, get together uh, on weekdays, uh, just on weekends. So today it was like something weird but special. <laughs> That's so nice, right? It is good that you do different things. I mean, and that you say like, hey, today was a very nice day because I went out of the routine. It was out of the normal thing, right? So yeah. that's pretty awesome. And you say like, sorry, but I have to go to class. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I have a date, you say, with 30 people <laughs> yes. in class. Good. Very good. Thank you, Erevin. One more who wants to share what was good about their day? Five, four, three, two, one. Volunteer. Thank you. Let's see. Thank you, Anita. <laughs> what was good about your day? Good evening, teacher. Hi. Teacher, yes. my day has been... Okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Hey, Anita, finish <laughs> and then Regina. Finish Anita and then Regina. Okay. Sorry, Regina. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, today was a horrible day for me. <gasps> really? Yes. Why? Uh, because I start to sneeze <laughs> with the lady like uh, 10 a.m. So I need I need to take 
uh, medicine, so I feel like a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> I feel dizzy, you say. I feel yeah dizzy. Yeah, not right now you need to be very careful, people, because everybody's sick. Everybody. From whatever I see, it's like, achoo, achoo, achoo. So be careful, be careful. Use mm -hmm. your mask, even if you don't like it. Wear your mask. Pónganse la mascarilla, aunque sea solo para la gente. You see, Daisy, Daisy was very sick. Imagine so. Protect yourself. You have to be very careful. Okay, Regina, tell us. Okay, Reggie, go. Regina, we lost you. Te perdemos, Regina. There you go. <laughs> I, my intern. Yeah, I, I know, is, I know. It's very bad. In my day, I have been very hard. In my work, with I am, is here. In my work, is the moment. <laughs> Oh my God. So, but that is in your yeah. house or is in another place? In the other place. Oh my goodness. Well, but if yeah. we have clients, we need to take advantage of that. If there are clients, <laughs> attend the clients anyway. Yeah. So, but do you work alone or with your family? My. Ah, well, at least you are with someone Please. there. That's that's pretty good because at least you are with someone that you know there. So it's not an, an strange person. So thank you, eh, Regina. It's a hard day. It's hard because you need to work. It's hard because you are sick. Uh -huh. Oh, my interest is very bad in the work. Sure. <laughs> I, know, yeah, I, see, I can see. <laughs> yeah. It's, I'm sorry. Como descifrando el misterio del mensaje. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Ese es el nuevo juego de las clases virtuales. Descifra lo que <laughs> Good, very good. Well, so my dear class, we are going to move on business. We are going to work a little bit on the last topic of the book. Uh, it's so sad. I think that we have just started the book and now we're finishing. My goodness, it has been but it has been a nice journey. I have I have actually enjoyed a lot all this journey that we have had. I will change my background because I feel, I don't know, too white. <laughs> I am white and the background white is like too much. Okay, so yesterday we started talking, right? We had some examples on synonyms and antonyms, right? And we also had uh, some examples on second conditionals. So it was a very good thing. The one that we did yesterday, we were working a lot on that. And the final topic that we are going to use, we are going to keep using the models, right? But in this case, for necessity or suggestion, right? For necessity or suggestion. What are the things that you need to do when you need to do a process, for example, when you need to do a, any type of activity at the bank, uh, when you are going to travel, when you are going to register for the classes, right? There are many things that you actually need to do. Do you know what is the procedure for you to enter to classes in English Corporativo? What are some things that you have to do? So you say, teacher, you have to do this. You have to send documents. You must be, I don't know, 18 years old. What are some of the requirements that you need to have to enter to study in English Corporativo? Tell me some of them. You need, you need to fill out. Have... You need to? <laughs> I love... Okay, Boris. Go ahead, Boris. Okay, you need to well uh, to uh, you need to fill a uh, a document uh, with a uh, personal information. Good. Um, so, uh huh. You need to fill a document with personal information. Uh, on the computer, uh, we have to send uh, that information at a in PDF format uh, to English Corporativo. Uh huh. 
and they 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 receive this and they uh, tell us is is okay or not okay uh, that the the document that we sent it. Okay, so good. Let me just uh, take notes from this, and I'm going to send them on the chat. Right when you say you need to fill up some papers, right? Yes, you need okay. to fill up some papers, right? That is something that you need to do. And then you say, you have to send it on PDF format, right? On PDF format. When you say you have to do it, it's like there is no other option accepted, right? You have to do it like this because that's the, that's the recommendation, right? What is a must that you need to cover people? What is a must? You must be, or you must have, or you must get. What is something? What is a must? Teacher, what is the meaning? Fill up. Okay, fill up. It's like llenar, rellenar. Ah, uh, okay. Por Thank ejemplo, you. te dan como un formulario y tú solo rellenas los campos, right? To fill up some papers. Teacher, okay. you have. You must you. fill up with, by hand. Aha, you must fill oh. up the papers by hand, right? By hand. And you must uh, add your photocopy. Uh -huh. I don't know if, if that word is correct. Photocopy okay. of, okay. your, of your personal uh, document ID. Of ID your document. ID, right? It's of okay. Your ID. You say ID. Because it's identity yes. document, right? You must add the photocopy of your ID. That is a must. It is not optional. The difference between you have to do this is like, I, te estoy diciendo, right? Lo tenés que hacer así. Tenés que hacer esto. Right? You have to do this. You must do this. It's like, tenés que, but it's an obligation. There is no option there, right? You need to do this. It's like, you have to make sure to remember that because you need to do it. It's a requirement, right? And you don't have to. What is something that you don't have to do in this program? You don't have to what? Something that is very important. You don't have to. Miss. Uh huh. Miss. Uh, you have you don't have to miss the, 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 the class. You don't have to miss your classes, right? That's good. You don't have to miss your classes. That is something that it's a top thing. It's like, this is a requirement. You don't have to miss your classes, right? You don't have to skip classes, right? Teacher, maybe uh, we have to respect the, the schedule. Exactly. We have to respect the schedule. That's very good. We have to respect the schedule. We don't have to miss classes. You have to be on time, right? There are many other things. And as you can see here, you are explaining the steps. You are explaining the steps to do something, right? And when you give suggestions to someone, you say, ah, you better talk to Inglés Corporativo if you have a problem. You ought to go with someone. You ought to, it's like you have to to go with someone. You should take warm clothes. Yes, Nadia? Teacher, is correct say, is the, for example, now my boss told me you must to go tomorrow for um, Morazan? Okay, so in that case, I will I will write the sentence. Give, give it to me so we can analyze it together. Mm -hmm. Let me see. It is good. I like I like to analyze this type of questions. That's pretty awesome. Okay, tell me. Dictate the sentence to me. Uh, now, 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 my boss told me. Pero eso apréndetelo bien porque te lo van a volver a preguntar. You must. You must. Go. Uh -huh. To. More, to to. Tumorasan tomorrow. Okay. Okay, good, good. Very good. We are going to build up the sentence, right? Now my boss told me you must go to Morasan tomorrow. In this case, you can say, my boss exactly. just told me 
that I have to go. No, in this case, like you say, I had to go to Morazan tomorrow. Okay. Or you can say, okay, my boss told me that I had to go to Morazan tomorrow. When you say I had to go, it's similar to must, right? But if you say like, uh, you can also give, I will give you another option. I must go to Morazan tomorrow. And you, and you can add here, my boss just told me that. Okay, you have these two options. My boss just told me that I had to go to Morazan tomorrow, right? And this one, I must go to Morazan tomorrow. My boss just told me that. Okay, you are reporting in the two cases, right? In this case, we can uh, use it like this. Because if you say, now my boss told me you must go to Morazan tomorrow, it is understandable, but it's disorganized, right? So you can use any of the two options there. So did you get your the point, Nadia? Um, yes, but uh, I um, I don't understand. And the first uh, exercise and the first first exercise, uh, I don't have op option. Um, it's correct. Yeah. Also, in this case, if you don't have an option, use the second option. Use the second sentence, the one that I have just here. And and the second sentence is, I have a option. No, no, no. In, uh, yeah, in this one. Yes. Well, you don't have an option because he told you that you need to go. My boss just told me, right? Él me acaba de decir that I had to go to Morazan tomorrow. Tengo que ir. There is okay. no option, right? In the two sentences, you have to go to Morazan, right? But yeah. uh, the sentence here, I just organize your information from here. And uh, in the two in the two sentences, you are going, yes or no. <laughs> yes or yes in this case. So Okay, thank you. you. You don't have an option in any of them. So that's those are the things that you can use. I just organize it. Let me just go back to the book here. And... In the case of Nadia, I will continue with Nadia's example, right? Her, she is going to Morazan tomorrow, right? Does she have an option? No, but we can give suggestions, okay? You should take fresh clothes because Morazan is very hot, right? You should eat before because of the traffic, right? You shouldn't go by bus because it's too long, right? You better go with someone so you don't feel alone. I am giving suggestions to the things that she can do. Give me suggestions. Imagine that I am new in English Corporativo. I am planning to study here. Give me suggestions. So you say, you should, you better, you shouldn't. Uh huh. You shouldn't speak Spanish. You shouldn't speak Spanish. That's very good for you to practice your English. What else? You should fill up the, the papers uh, ASAP. Okay, ASAP. It's like this, right? <laughs> ASAP. Yeah. Okay, you should fill up the papers ASAP. Very you good. Should, you should practice every single day. You should practice. Okay, you should too. No, you should practice every single day. Excellent, excellent uh, suggestion. Another one. You should. You uh, have to finish the platform. <laughs> you have to play to finish the platform. Early. <laughs> and I mean, I was about to say that <laughs> sentence. <laughs> you, you better you finish should. the. Sorry. <laughs> on time. On time. Very good. You better finish the platform on time. Very good job. So. In this case, let's be let give me another another uh, suggestion. You, you should participate in classes. Very good. You should participate in classes. That's good. You should participate. What else? 
you have to you have to choose to choose a, a good schedule uh, to receive your classes. You have to choose a good schedule to receive your classes, right? One that fits your necessities. Tell me, people, if I want to travel to another country, what is something that is an obligation to have? You have to get a passport. <laughs> you have to get a passport. Is it optional to say, like, you have to get it? You must. It depends. Yes. For example, your travel traveling to Guatemala. Central America to Central America. You just need your ID. You need. Very good. You see, uh, Anna said that she was dizzy, but now she's on the top of the class. Good. Very nice. Okay. Are you sure that you Imagine took? Imagine if she were not dizzy. <laughs> Yo creo que no era clorfeniramina. Es. ¿Qué dice no. aquí? Tequila. Ah, it's okay. Tequila. <laughs> Yeah, he's like uh, only, a spoon, a spoon of tequila. Uh -huh, only one, one spoon, like walking what? Only five what? of tequila. <laughs> he's like walker what? Someone, someone is walking. I, I will, I will drink it. Yes. <laughs> okay, me han contado. I don't drink, so it's okay. <laughs> I, I am very like light on. Okay, so let's go here. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Good. Mi ayudante de clase me viene a dar unos juguetes. You shouldn't pack too many clothes, he says. And it's true. You shouldn't pack too many clothes. You don't need that much. If you can wash it there, don't pack clothes, right? Here. I have here some advice, some pieces of advice for someone who is taking vacation abroad, right? And we have different ones. As you have been mentioning them, we're going to read them, right? We're going to read them. I will make this smaller. And what is the first one? You must get a passport. You must get a passport, yes. Number two, how will you make it? You don't have too to many pack clothes. too many clothes. Too many you, clothes. you don't have to pack too many clothes. Good. Buy a round trip plane ticket. You, you have to buy a round trip plane ticket. A round trip. Excellent. You have to, right? You have to yes. do it because if not, you're going to pay to go and pay to come back. So it is more expensive. Make hotel reservations. You, you, should make make you should make hotel reservations. You should make, right? You should make them. Because maybe there you're going to find another good hotel that it's cheaper so but you should make reservations just in case yes. get a vaccination you must you yes. must to get a vaccination yes you, you must okay you must Thank get you, you must yeah. get okay. before before of the pandemic we we must to get a vaccine you have to. to travel to travel to panama for example yeah to travel anywhere you need no and you need it as well now they ask you for the for the proof of the uh, vaccine. Yeah. So the only ones that are followed by two, and this is important, you say you have to. That's yes, you have to use two. You have to get a passport. You have to take a picture, right? You must, you don't use two. You must get, you must uh, find, you must reserve, right? You don't use must two. And need two, yes. And you don't have two, but with must, you don't use must to. And the next one, when you say you better, you don't say you better to talk. No, you better talk. talk. You oughta, yeah, in this case, you oughta, yes, you, you need to use to. You should, you should to, mm -mm. you should take, you should pack, you should call, right? And you shouldn't go, you don't use to, okay? So with should, shouldn't, and must, you don't use to after this but you use the normal form of the verb so that's important to keep it in mind what about the next it's, one yes does out means ora ora is oh. the same as a, it, it is a suggestion it is similar to have to you have to or in in spanish would be like deberías mm -hmm. you ought to go right you 
Ahora go with someone. Deberías ir con alguien. Ahora. It's similar that it's similar to say like you have to or you you should you should go. Teacher, but, are yeah? they like synonyms? Yes, they are synonyms, and they are they are all used when you want to give a suggestion. You ought to call your mother. You say, imagine that you haven't called to your mother during the whole day. You ought to do it. You have to. You should do it. Okay, that's the meaning. Teacher, of... can, I, uh, can I say you need to to know the 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 currency change yes you need to know the currency change for sure <laughs> if not you are going to be like teacher nati in honduras right with a lot of money <laughs> and it was just a little <laughs> bit yeah it's like cuánto vale 800 no sé cuánto what i said ah no but it's, you just give it there ah thank you <laughs> i was very worried I, I didn't like i think i have traveled to to different countries but Honduras is the one that I haven't enjoyed a lot. The place is I beautiful because I don't know, it's very, well, at, at the moment that I went, it was very like, I don't know, I felt very arid and, and very like empty and everything was so fast in a moment and so empty in another one. I didn't like it that much. And the right. currency, it was very difficult for me. It was like, son como mil no sé cuánto. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't know. And as we have the dollars here, and when we change the dollars there, me dijo, le vamos a dar como tres mil no sé cuánto. It was like, wow, nice. But everything is very, like, it, it is very difficult to work with that. But the country is beautiful. The place that I went, it's also very nice. I went to the university there. But um, it is good. The landing and the airport is very horrible. I didn't like it. So it's like yeah the plane was like like this and then like this and then like this <laughs> and i was like ah! so i i didn't like that part but for the rest it's, it's very beautiful and yeah i i didn't like the airport nadia tell me no in, in my case um one one time um i stayed in an airport and the security said me turn turn your back and then write your hands uh, and I don't understand <laughs> uh, until one person translating for me and I was oh god I'm in trouble uh, <laughs> oh my god yeah I, it happened to me the, one of these things that they say like si se pone azul turquesa es positivo para el calor de cocaína and I was like mm -hmm. <laughs> what <laughs> Yeah, but it's because we were 20 people together at the same time, I mean, in a group. <laughs> so it was like, curious, hmm, <laughs> what are all these people doing from 20 different countries, <laughs> right? So that's why. And she started like putting this thing on my hands and she said, leave them like that. And I was like, si se pone azul turquesa es positivo para el calor de cocaína. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, I said, and I was like, que no se ponga turquesa. And I was like, how? I have never touched it and I have never seen it, but you get very nervous. So you have to be very careful. You must be ready with all your documents, right? That's a very good uh, recommendation. Mm -hmm. It's a tip. It's a very good tip. Carry lots of cash, a lot of money. When you travel, carry lots of cash. So, you shouldn't oh, carry a lot of, should, lot of you cash. You shouldn't. You shouldn't, right? I will take this million dollars with me. <laughs> like, ah, pew, pew, pew. One person in El Salvador. I will take. I will take these dollars with me. It's like no. <laughs> Let's see. Take a lot of luggage. Take a lot of luggage. Llevar un montón de equipaje. You shouldn't take you shouldn't. a lot of luggage. You shouldn't, right? You shouldn't take a lot of luggage. Check on your visa. You have to check on. You must. You must. You must, must, check. must check on. Visa. You must check your visa, right? Carry your wallet in the back of your pocket. You need to carry your wallet in your back pocket. Uh, if you are going to get in a coaster here in El Salvador. Yeah. No, yes. you don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to. You, you don't like... have to carry your wallet in your back. Someone can can steal your 
your someone, wallet. Someone can stole. check. Someone can check it for you, right? Take mm -hmm. identification with you. Yes. You have to. You have to. You must take. You must take. You must take. 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 Good. Very good. Remember, must doesn't have to after it. You must take identification with you. Very good job. So, in this one, well, it's just a little practice of oughta and have to. You ought to take a credit card. You ought to go in June, right? You don't say ought to go. You say you ought to go and you ought to take. And you have to take, you have to get, and you have to, uh, well, you have to get a passport and you have to get a, a visa. A pizza, I was going to say. <laughs> you ought to and have to. Ought and have to. So, if you had the chance to go on your dream vacations, people, I have a couple of questions here. Just think about it. What is the first question? Can you help me to read it? Where are we going to start from? Where are you going to start from? Where are we going to start from? De donde empezaríamos? For sure, from, I don't know, from Costa Rica or I don't know. Where are you going to start? Where will you start your vacations? What will be your first destination? In my case, Mexico. Mexico. Okay, Mexico. Good. Yeah. Colombia. Colombia. In my case, El Salvador. El Salvador. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I because always Because if you don't know the country that uh, you live, live in, you live in, so what is the purpose to know another country to another? Okay, it's like... If you have to know first your uh, the place where you live for you to go and experience all the countries. Country. Very good. It's a mm -hmm. very that's what I think, right? I will go around El Salvador, right? All around the beach, the mountains, and everything because you have the money to do it. That would be fantastic. What time of the year should we travel? What do you think is the best time of the year? In October. <laughs> October, good. And in June and in summer, because I mm -hmm. I am a, I will like to travel in a hot air balloon. Oh, in a hot air balloon! Wow, <laughs> what a beautiful thing! That would be fantastic, right? To travel in a balloon. I don't recommend you to travel during winter or when it's raining. It's not very good. What countries and cities should we visit, people? Should we go to Paris or Australia or, I don't know, Dubai? Please. Okay. Uh -huh. Barcelona, Europe. teacher. I like to visit Paris. Paris, good. Yes. Barcelona, Paris. good. <laughs> or other, yeah. other like beautiful places that you have there. Nepal. Finland. Greece. Finland, Switzerland, China, Japan, China, Japan. Japan. <laughs> yeah, we went all over no, the world. Switzerland, <laughs> Europe. Switzerland, Europe, yes. Israel. Sure. Israel, definitely. How long should we spend in each country? Ya fuimos como a 20 países. ¿Cuánto nos quedamos en cada uno? Ajá. Three days. Three days. No, no it was take it depends the country. It depends the country. It, it, so the country. <laughs> it will take three days for me to pack again. <laughs> it depends on the country and the area that you want to visit. Because, uh -huh. for example, one yeah. country should it must uh, must have a uh, different places that you want to visit. to visit. And so, for example, in one country in Europe, people recommend you at least two weeks two weeks okay yeah, yeah. Per, per area for example two weeks in madrid two weeks in barcelona i don't know okay two weeks yes. yeah so two weeks in each country <laughs> where are we going to stay people are we going to rent a house are we going to stay in hotels in the street. 
<risa> Under a bridge. Ajá, Con say money. ¿Cómo se dice mochilero? We a backpacker. We are going backpacker. to be backpackers. We have just won the lottery, people. We have a lot of money. We can do whatever we want. In the train. <risa> to bring the money back. <risa> okay. Sí, ahí se nos salió el tacaño que vamos dentro. <laughs> para, para no gastar. <laughs> El oh, I need to. Yeah. I need to son one teacher. You need, like Don Cangrejo, right? You see, yeah. did you see? <laughs> Don, Don Cangrejo and Rico Macpato were very rich, but they yes. were very stingy. They said like, yes, mm -hmm. because they know what is the the the, the value of the money. The value of the money. Very yes. good. Let's see. We are going to be in Paris. Uh, what are we going to do that? What are we going to do there in Paris? Uh, visit the Torre Eiffel. Uh, the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower. Um, I visit the museum. The museums to visit the museums, right? What else? The first, the first thing you have to do is to buy online your 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 tickets exactly. to get into the places. Yes, because if not, they are going to say. Where's your ticket? And it's like, no, give me one. We don't sell here. They do that. And you are like, thank you very much. I, uh, <laughs> in my case, I bring, I bring this at the museum Louvre. Louvre. I think it's the Louvre. The to Louvre. see the Mona Lisa. Louvre. To see the Mona Lisa. Yeah. Okay. And many other stadiums from uh, PSG. Okay, we are going to we are going to go to the stadiums, to museums, to the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, and in all these places you have to book your ticket. If not, you don't enter, right? Because there, even if you say like, mira, yo soy de no sé qué beca, nada. Thank you very much. Choo, choo, choo. If you don't have a ticket, bye bye. So, how much money are we going to spend on each city? How much I need money? a black card. <laughs> a black no you have the money you have you what you just won the lottery okay cash cash five thousand dollars in five five thousand dollars in every country good right put avocado on it please <laughs> and give me two coca-colas not only one <laughs> good so let's go here and for sure, what do we need to take? What do we need to take with us? Our luggage. We need to take our luggage. We need uh, to take our luggage. Good. What else? Passport. A passport. Very good. You, you need to take a camera. And for sure a camera. Or now, good space on your phone, right? You need to have a lot of You space. need to take with you enough money. Enough money. Money, money, money. money. We are going money. to have... Okay, we are going to have a lot of money. So that is our dream. You see, we we went out and we came back in just 10 minutes, right? Fuimos y venimos de todo el mundo, yes? And if we had prescription, of course, we had to take our medicine. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Your regular medicine, yes. <laughs> Please, because imagine there. Yeah. yeah. The money and the medicine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Qué, qué triste, ¿verdad? Ya llegamos a la edad donde llevemos, yes, el, sí, llevemos sí. el pisto y la medicina. <laughs> so, I always I always make that joke to, to my students, right? Yo les digo a mis estudiantes. Eh, siempre les digo cuando estamos en las clases en la academia. Antes, cuando uno se caía, nos reíamos. Ahora si me caigo, se afligen. <laughs> la tich Mm -hmm. Está viva. So yeah, the medicine. Yeah, para and, and the, and uh -huh. How can I say the receta? Because I have to to bring my recet, the my, my receta. Prescription. The prescription. The always, prescription. Yes. You need to take your prescriptions with you yes. all the time. It's like yes. Why do you have so much in al April here? It's like nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, because I have a prescription. Okay. I oh, have okay, a prescription, okay. right? Okay. It's like pase, que pase el señor. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> so that's good. You yes, see, true. at least we need we need to make fun of those those beautiful moments of our life. Mm. Well, my dear students, I am going to call the attendance first, and uh, then I am going to ask you please to go to your platform and take a picture of the graph with the complete platform i mean with the complete bars done in all the different sections okay so you are going to go to your platform let me just share my screen with you here because i am sharing the book oh no no it's okay there you go you need to go to your platform and here on progreso right i don't know why why this is in spanish but here you need to have all this complete right this is the example that I am showing you, right? But yours have to be all complete. There is going to be one bar that is on gray, but that is about the final exams, okay? Hay una barra que queda en gris y todos dicen, pero que esta me queda en color gris y no en rojo? Because it is the one that represents the evaluations, right? So I will need you to go and, and um, take a picture of your progress and send it on the group, please. I need you to... In the WhatsApp group, teacher? Yes, or... yes. No, no, no. In the WhatsApp group. Okay. okay. In the WhatsApp group, please go there and get the picture. I am going to call the attendance first and while you get your picture, okay? Mientras ustedes me consiguen su foto, I will call the attendance. Okay. Let me see. Here I go. And yes, on the WhatsApp group, please remember to add your name, right? It has to have your name. Because in some cases, your your phone says, ahí, eh, sexy, no sé qué. And it's like, who's this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> El muñequito, no sé qué. O solo una carita. Please add your name to it. Alba Colombina. Albita, hey, Albita, tengo ¿Qué pasó, Albita? ¿Qué pasó? Where are you? Alejandro José. Present teacher. Alicia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Ana. Present teacher. Andrea Geraldine. Present teacher. Andrea Michelle. Present teacher. Blanca Marisol. Boris Martín. Here teacher. Brian Isaac. Thank you. Denis Isaías. Present. Daisy Carolina. Thank you. Dina Here Elisa. Teacher. Thank you, Present Daisy. Teacher. Elba Carolina. Present teacher. Eric Ernesto. Present. Thank you. <laughs> Erika Maidel. Present teacher. Francisco Alberto. Hey, Francisquito. Wait, sorry, sorry. Ah, I have yeah. a problem with the song. Sorry. <laughs> okay, ¿a dónde está Francisquito? ¿Ire Regina? Present teacher. Eh, Jenny Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Jessica Janet. Present teacher. Jose Eraivin. Present teacher. Juan Eduardo. Present teacher. Katia Graciela. Present teacher. Maritza Isabel. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Nadia. Present teacher. Noemi. Ah, Noemi was writing on the chat that she was having problems to come back to the meeting. Okay, I will check Present on that. Teacher. Thank you. There you are, Noemi. Very good. Ricardo. Ricardo de Jesús. Ronald Antonio. Present teacher. Sara. Present teacher. And Vidal. Mr. Vidal. I can see you there, but I cannot listen to you. Thank you, Vidal. I, I... Okay, good, good. Thank you, thank you. So, uh, thank you for all the ones who are sending me the picture already. Thank you very, very, very much. I have, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 pictures now. 
Ok, very good. Que después lo voy a mandar yo porque mi interno está muy bien. It's okay, don't worry, don't worry. So please, uh, just make sure that you send it, right? Make sure that you send it for us to have the proof that you have already finished, right? And uh, as the people from Inglés Corporativo are always asking, right? Have you finished? Have you finished? So we have the proof there that we are done with all that. So the only thing that we were missing to check out here was uh, the final evaluations, right? That you already did them, but we're just going to go all over them a little bit in these five minutes, right? In this one, you have to do a listening, right? This is exactly like we were just doing, right? Uh, if one that won the lottery, right? It's exactly what we were just doing right now in the discussion, right? If you're a doctor, you get to get more exercise, which sports you choose. Which option do you think, or do you, well, which option did you choose as the correct one? Remember that in this one, we were using the past tense in the second conditional. So what would be the best answer? The first option. If your doctor you like, told you, you to get more exercise, which sports would you, would you choose? Would you choose? Because would is the one that we use with the second conditional. I am not sure, but I, Jogging two or three times a week. I might go jogging. I might go I jogging. Might the first. It's the first one, right? What you, if your car down? Which one? What, what would you, you do if your car, if your car broke down? If, broke, down. Uh, broke down, right? What would you do if? What will you do if your car broke the down? Number, number, the first one, right? The first one. The number first. first, not right. The first one. If I couldn't afford to fix it, I walk everywhere. The second option. The second one, right? Because you have, I could, if I couldn't, right? Afford to fix it, I will have to walk everywhere. What are they talking about? What are they talking about in this sentence? If I couldn't afford to fix it, I will have to walk everywhere. Don't have enough money. Aha, uh -huh. but it says, if I couldn't afford to fix it, In what are what? they talking about? ¿De qué están hablando? To fix it, the car. They are talking about a car, right? If I couldn't afford to fix it, it, in this case, is a car or a bicycle or a motorcycle or the bus, <laughs> if you own the bus. <laughs> You will have to walk everywhere. Good. The next one. If you want to travel, where you go? First. If you had three months to travel, right? Because to travel, you don't use the S in the infinitive form. Oh, that's easy. To Antarctica. I have always wanted to go there. The second option, I will fly. I will fly to Antarctica. To Antarctica. To Antarctica. I have always wanted to go there, right? So that was the evaluation about the sentences that we were just studying, right? To rewrite the sentences, we were just practicing this. Turn out the lights before you leave. You have to. You have to. You have to. You Turn have out the light before you leave. Can't. Can't. You can even or drinking in the classroom. Okay. You can. Uh -huh. In this in this number, I write uh, the current sentences, but it's wrong in the platform. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Here. Uh huh. And this in this exercise and num the number um, two. Number two. I don't I don't understand when we use eat and drink and in and no eating or drinking. I am going to explain that right now. Oh, with okay. with can and can't you use the normal verb. You say I can dance, I can cook, I can uh 
uh, paint, I can't uh, speak English, right? You use the normal form of the verb. You don't use the infinitive. Because when I say no eating or drinking here, that is uh, when you are... Uh, when you are telling, this is like, I, I don't remember the name of this. This is not a, yeah, it, it is a gerund, but when you say no eating or drinking, so you are giving an order, right? In this case, when you say like no eating or drinking here, right? It's an order. And you say, and you know that they are talking to you, right? In this case, you don't have a subject. But when you say you can't, after can, you are going to use a normal verb, right? Okay. You can't enter, you can't eat, you can't sleep here, right? You can't. And that's why you have to change it, right? You can't eat or drink in the classroom. Uh, Af after can, mm -hmm. you use a normal form of, of the verb. Okay. okay. So the correct form of the sentence for you to get 100 in the platform is you can't eat or drink in the classroom, period, right? And yeah, the last one, teacher. yes? Um, in this case, we... We can use eating because in Spanish say tú no puedes tú no puedes tú no comiendo, puedes comiendo exactly o bebiendo exactly después de can tiene que ser un verbo en su forma normal no podemos decir you can't eating or drinking here no puedes tomando bebiendo so it's not uh, it's not correct Thank and you. in the last one you are allowed to take off your shoes you are allowed to take off your shoes. <laughs> Okay, in the contracted or in the normal form. And in this case, uh, I think it was just uh, it was just a mistake from the platform because it should be here, right? I I remember that I sent it with here. Okay, you are allowed to take off your shoes. Ah, maybe because in that case you will see the, the sign or an announcement in a place, right? Tal vez este anuncio lo va a ver en un lugar. Entonces, ya cuando lo hacemos en esa forma de, de, when you are giving an option to a person, you say, you are allowed to take out your shoes and you know that it's here, right? It's in the place. Maybe that's why they took it out. Por eso quizás se lo quitaron. Porque el anuncio lo va a ver en un lugar, right? No se va a quitar los zapatos en otro lado. <laughs> if you are there. And it's so like, you are allowed to take off your shoes here in that place. So maybe okay. that, that's why. I will, I will write it I, just to make, to, to be clear, right? The reading about body language and uh, I don't have the, the file in this one. And I think it was the last one, right? So that was the last exercise from the platform. Well, my dear class, that's all for me today. Remember to send me the picture uh, for us to keep it done. I am going to send you the details about the presentation, but it's mostly uh, what you enjoy about the module and what you are expecting for the next one, okay? One minute tomorrow. So I will send it to you in a moment in the chat. Have a wonderful night and I'm going to see you tomorrow for our last class. I see, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Have a beautiful night. Bye. Bye.